Hello, welcome to this lecture. Um, in this lecture, we'll talk about how you can map um, a global forest and you know non-forest um, uh, data. Uh, so we'll be using a planetary or worldwide um, database, which is the the uh, Palsar uh, data, uh, and it this is a binary data forest and non-forest classification. Uh, so we'll, we'll try to map it um, on Earth Engine data as part of this course in this uh, lesson. Let's get started. So we have uh, different sections um, here. I'll populate all of this uh, by the end of this lecture. So uh, first, let's get started. Uh, the first thing is to load data. Uh, so I'll create a variable called dataset. And um, I'll call... Um, I'll call Earth Engine Image Collection and I'll provide the image ID for that. Um, I um, already uh, know that image ID uh, and I'll populate that. And this is the Pulsar Data Image Collection. And then there is a year and Forest and forest. That's what the, not the annotation is. Um, and I don't have to close that um, because I'm still adding some parameter. So I'll apply a filter date. And let me change this cap. Uh, filter date, and then I'll, I'll provide uh, two date parameters the uh, start of the image collection and the end of the image collection. In this case, I'll um, enter um, January um, 1st, 2017, and the end date would be uh, the same year, but December 31st. So that will be my image collection filtered by um, date so instead of uh, populating the entire time series you will uh, only filter this this um, this part of the, the the data set and the next step is actually to um, um, select the data this uh, contains multiple uh, parameters so I'll pass the uh, only the, the the data set that I'm interested in, in this case the fourth non forest data so I'll declare a variable Forest, non forest, and data set. So, mind you, here I have already um, imported the image collection, so I'm just calling that image collection the data set here and select specific um, uh, parameter that I'm interested. Uh, this is the, the specific parameter that, that I need to import. And the next step is to create a visualization. So I'll create a visualization a parameter forest, um, non forest. Actually, let me update this naming here so that's consistent. And then this, since it's a visualization parameter, so that's uh, my, my uh, parameter color, pra um, color parameter here. And I'll define the minimum values and the maximum value. In this case, uh, the minimum value is one, and the maximum value is uh, 3.0. I just get this from the data itself. And then the palette, I'll define a palette, and I'll create a list of colors, um, which I uh, already am interested to create. And this is an empty. Uh, quotation then I'll populate my um, uh, color code here so if you're interested uh, you know on the color course don't worry about this color codes you can always check color brewer and if you go to color brewer here for example you just uh, click the green areas and then you can uh, you know change it to five color six color and just, that's how I you know get most of the time the color you know, palettes for my um, visualization, okay? So you don't have to worry about this, it's just uh, pretty simple. And the other thing is to um, encode my, um, the, the second color 
So the next thing is to encode the, the next color parameter here. Um, it's uh, this one. And the last color parameter is um, this. And I will close my, <clears throat> my function. And the last bit of the, the code is actually to um, to display the you know the the data okay and I'll create map add layer as always to create the visualization and then I'll call this um, data here forest uh, forest num forest data which I've already created and I'll input it here and also uh, pull here my visualization parameter and um, so I'll create a name when I map it here so that I can you know um, remember what what the name of that layer is so I'll call it forest non forest okay and then I'll close the, the function by using a semicolon that's how you uh, close your statement uh, using a JavaScript um, API. So what we've uh, created technically is imported an image collection and filtered it by date. And also selected the specific data parameter in this image collection and created a visualization so that we can visualize our data here. And finally displayed the data using our, you know, pulling our data here and also the visualization parameter that we already created. And finally, let's execute this code. And then I'll click run to execute that code. And we have some error here. Let's just uh, check what's that that is. And then we have some um, typo error here in the, in the um, data. I think we are missing L here. That should solve it and execute. So it's running, I'll save the script. So execute again. Fantastic. So this is a global data. I'll zoom out actually to see what our map is. And so it's showing us um, a forest and non forest class. Um, the water area is blue as you can see. And the non forest area is yellow as you can see here. And the green is a forested area. So this is a binary classification for the entire planet, which includes all countries. And as you can see, the green is mostly the forested areas here, the Congo Basin in uh, Central Africa. And also the, the Amazon Basin, as you can see, um, you know, some of the uh, south west, um, southeastern United States, mostly forested area and um, northwestern part of the United States. And um, some, some in the, um, you know, east, eastern uh, Asian continent. And so that's how you um, would visualize, you know, import uh, a forest, uh, non forest uh, pulsar image collection and filter it and visualize it on the Erzingen uh, JavaScript, JavaScript API.